Hi guys, this is El Morris from my studio. Today I'm going to show you the closer look into the project of my collaboration tune with Ana Criado and La Antonia in the Twilight. And you can watch what's inside this track. So stay tuned and have fun. Okay, let's have a closer look into the project and I will show you what uh, things and what sounds uh, are in this project. Uh, you can listen to some of the bass lines or some of the solo parts. So I hope it is interesting for you and you will also get inspiration if you are also producing uplifting trance music. Okay, let's see. Now we are here um, in the break, during the break. First, there are the vocals. Sounds like this. Hidden far beyond, written in the stars, the will find its way in the twilight. Du during this passage, there are several pads playing, like this one here. Another pad here. And I use Spire for this. Another pad. Really soft and warm. And here, another pad, which is moving, a more atmospheric pad, and a pad here, a saw pad. But they are not only pads. In the background you hear some plaque sounds like this one here. The melody. And also piano sound a little bit later. So another black sounds playing in the background. The main melody. But with a filtered uh, really filtered down and also a layer. And they are playing really in the background. So when you're in a break, sometimes it's like you don't have anything to play in the background. So there are just pads, some slow pads and probably vocals. But you can also use uh, the melody to get a little bit moving into the break. So it's still something uh, in the background which is moving and which is fast and Everything else, like the vocals, the pads, are really slow. So you have um, something which keep up the 
speed, I would say. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, you can use it like you want. So this is uh, possible uh, how you can go into the brake or be in the brake with plugged uh, with a melody um, which is uh, playing in the background really really silently From this passage you hear there's the melody and I also go directly into the transitions to go into the main part. Alright, so this is the break. Uh, what's interesting about the break? Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, the transition part. The effect sounds, sounds like this. Several uplifting sounds. And then we have the main part here. Yes, this was just before the main part. What else, what else is playing in the background? There's the bass line. With a lo low pass and high pass filter. And this, this bass line here. And also the bass pad. The bass pad. Really deep. I hope you can hear it. And also the plug melody sounds like this one here is a start to rise for the higher frequencies. Another layer. The melody. Another layer. And another layer. Rising here. So I don't know, like a five, five, or in the end there are around six or even seven probably. Yeah, another layer. So there are like six or seven mainly layers which rise here. And yeah, let us listen to the main part and the B part of the main part. Let us listen to the percussions first. So there are several drum loops playing here. And the effect sounds. Many swooshes and down sweeps, really important. And I use the down sweeps and really often my productions. We are the bass lines. Let me see if I have everything. Okay. 
and when we listen to the bass lines here, I will solo them. It's the sub bass line, a deep sub bass line, another bass line. Pretty simple. Another higher bass line. An arpeggiated bass line here. Another acid bass line. Well, oh, this one here. And another bass line here. So when we have all bass lines, it sounds like this. Also, also in the background, there's the... A plug sound playing. I love to use those black sounds and I already showed you the lead sounds are pretty the same in the background also a little a little high sound which is always offbeat um, um, just to make it a little bit fuller and also there are some choir playing Choir pad, I would say, and a violin in the background, and the the, I, the typical elation pad. I wanted to you to have it in this uh, project. There's also piano in the background. And I make it solo in front so you will hear the background. And some pads. Some other pads playing in the background. Well. Make it solo. Together with the vocals. When the shadows fall in the glowing light, the sun will have its final say. So I hope it was interesting to see what's inside this production and have a closer look into the project. If you want, just visit me on Facebook, on Twitter, on oh, nearly say MySpace, on Instagram. And uh, you can also watch some of my other in the studio videos here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed uh, it, leave me a comment and I hope to see you next time. El Morris. Bye bye.